So we've downloaded our installation kit, or excuse me, not downloaded, we've installed our installation kit and Git. And the next thing that we're going to do is actually install VS Code. So first thing, let's just go and open up Firefox and then we will go and download VS Code. Let's say VS Code downloads. Looks like that's a popular search, not surprising. And once we've done that, we can download Visual Studio Code. And when we are actually downloading the Visual Studio Code, let's just go ahead and download this .deb, a Debian file, which is the default file to install on a Ubuntu machine, which we're working on here. Go ahead and hit that download. I can see that download is already done. I could open that directly, but I actually want to use my installer, the terminal. So I'll get that terminal going and I'm going to use the command called dpkg hyphen I for install. And then I want to go ahead and give the location of my file, which is in the downloads directory and it is the code file. Uh, it says super user per privileges. That means I forgot the sudo dpackage install downloads code. This should work a little better this time around. We'll give that a moment to complete its installation. All right, looks like we're in good shape here. Now let's go ahead and give it a test. As per usual, I'm gonna to wanna to close this down and start up a new instance of a terminal, just like I would any time I make an, well, I guess I explained it on the Mac side of the videos. So I guess I haven't explained it here. Anytime that you make a change that involves uh, adding a command or installing some software that will add a command or change something having to do with the terminal, you'll need to end that instance of the terminal and start a new one. In this case, installation of VS Code actually does add a new command to our terminal named code. So we wanna give that a, a test. So first let's just go ahead and let's make a file called uh, test.txt in our desktop directory. I can see over there on the left, right, that file has popped up. Now I wanna open that file in VS Code. So I use the command code followed by the path and I can see that it went ahead and it opened up uh, an instance of VS Code with that file open. Now let's go ahead and if I close this out, let's go ahead and say, let's move to the desktop and then let's do a make directory, delete me, and then let's move test.txt into delme test.txt and then just clear this out. Um, now let's go ahead and open that entire directory and we'll just use code space dot, right? This is uh, the same way as if I were to do a relative file path using dot to represent current directory. I'm using it the same way here. I'm saying I want to open the current directory in VS Code. Go ahead and hit enter and I can see that it does open up VS Code and it has opened up the current directory. Right? It doesn't open up any of the files in that directory, but it does open up the entire directory in the file explorer over here. So that is how you can get VS Code installed on your Ubuntu machine and how you can actually start to access files and open VS Code from the command line. In the next video, we're going to be installing Anaconda, so I look forward to seeing you over there in just a moment.